Hello and welcome to this 10th episode of Smash Tutorial, where today we'll be talking about a very important aspect of the neutral game. That is, today's topics are spacing and stage control. I'm Felix, your host, and let's get right into it. Before I start giving you examples, I'm going to start with a quick briefing on what spacing is. Spacing is the conscious act of placing yourself and your attacks at a certain distance from your opponent to avoid any possible counterattacks or position yourself for a better follow-up. This is a part of the game that good players abuse to take advantage of players who aren't quite as good as them. Good use of this technique can make it feel almost impossible for a less experienced player because oftentimes there's literally nothing you can do to avoid or counter an incoming attack. It can be very frustrating to be in this situation, I've been there, believe me, but once you start understanding the mechanics of it, it'll be a lot better and easier to bear. First of all, spacing starts by realizing how much control you have on the stage, and how much pressure you are or can apply on your opponent. For this part, I'm going to use the stage control theory, which is explained in this video. You may want to go watch it before continuing. Although it mostly adjusts edge guards, uh, I'd like you to focus on the ratios he talks about. Go ahead, I'll wait. Got it? Alright. Even though the video explains that for Smash Wii U, we can easily apply it to good old Melee. Typically, we say the game is neutral when both players have equal stage control. This is a 50-50 ratio. In this situation, you usually want to bait your opponent to get an opening or pressure them into having less stage control. In neutral, you want to be aware of what your opponent will try to do and position yourself right outside of that range. In this situation, for example, I know that Marth will try a defensive option if I try to approach. By faking a mindless approach, and then stopping right outside of Marth's forward air range, I successfully win this neutral game only by placing my character in the right position. In this other example, I notice that Marth has been shield guarding my approaches a lot. So, I go for the scrubbiest down air. But, by crossing over Marth's shield, I'm outside of his grab range. He still goes for the shield grab, and I get a free shine on him. Spacing is also about putting your hitboxes where you think your opponent will try to go to stuff their approach, catch them off guard, or catch the recovery. In this last example, I predict- okay, to be totally honest with you, this is a computer I just know where he's gonna go, but for the sake of this example, let's assume I read him. So, after I knock him off stage, I predict he's gonna try to recover high, so, I jump, and place a downer right where his mid-air jump will take him. And I catch his recovery and spike him. In the end, spacing is a lot about different matchups, different opponents, it has a lot of variables. But, fundamentally, spacing is a lot about reading your opponent's movement and retaliations. Once you've downloaded your opponent's patterns and habits, you can start adjusting your spacing accordingly. Usually, you want to be either right outside of your opponent's range against characters like Marth and Fox, but sometimes, you want to stay in your opponent's face against characters like Young Link or even Peach. It takes a lot more skill and fast reaction to stay in your opponent's face though, so be careful. Remember that it's bad to get punished for trying to pressure too hard. Well, thanks for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to let me know by smashing those like and subscribe buttons, but be careful, their range is kinda tricky. This was Felix signing out. Welcome to the show.